Let's talk about nesting data now. So again, there is a tutorial that we adapted that started with the Learn uh, JS data uh, page. This was an effort uh, made by Jim Bajanigan and other people from Bukup. Uh, this the problem with this one is that it's a little bit old. So um, David Coop, I think it's his name, uh, adapted that for observable, and uh, I actually moved that uh, into E6 uh, or JavaScript, like the latest versions of E6, 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 sorry, and D3 version 6. That is the one that we are using in here. So I recommend you taking a look at that. There is a whole section nesting and grouping, so you can learn that and, and work by that on your own. Um, in here, actually, let's do an example starting from scratch really quickly. Uh, there's also another one that I recommend you in here. Um, I think I added that here. That is the, yes, this is the official documentation for D3 group and D3 rollup. So I also recommend you taking a look at that. That's kind of like the official example for that. Okay. So, um, so let's start uh, working with a bigger data set. So I'm actually going to come in here and then upload, let's say that I want to use a uh, Navio data sets. Oops. Um, data sets. So in here, I'm actually going to use the FIFA data set that is nine megabytes and then I'm going to upload it. And then since I'm recording and everything, it's a little bit slow. And then let's start by loading here the tree so we can go easy and then just load the whole thing or if you want to load the specific modules then um, you can do that too so in this case it will be d3 dsb i think is version 2 and the second part will or the other one that we're going to be using i think is d3 uh, we can learn that from here is d3 array 2 uh, so here d3 array 2 so once we have done that then for parsing this data I already show you you copy this and then you say data equals um, so I get this and then I convert that to text and then once I have that I take the response and then I do d3 CSV parse of the response and let's do auto type in that Think that's good there we go so now we have the data so and then we can start playing with it so um, for using d3 group basically what you do is that you say I want to group my data then I say pass my data and then you have to start providing what are the attributes that you want to group by so basically what you want is one of the categorical attributes for that so actually let me uh, do a shameless plug and import Navio here from John Guerra slash Navio. <coughs> so we can actually show a summary of the data. So let me show you a Navio of data then. So we can see all of the different attributes. So actually this one works better with an attribute width of eight. And then as you can see, we have the potential, the nationality, like for instance, I want to see maybe the ones in Colombia. So I can actually group them like this, and then I can see for each one of the uh, different countries. So let's do that on the code. So let's say that you want to get the, each one of the players grouped by nationality. So I just say something like this. So you say I'm grouping the data, and then the second parameter of the data, sorry for that jump, is the nationality. And that's going to be whatever column name you have in here. Okay, so when I do that, then what that returns is a map, which is a, a um, JavaScript uh, object. I recommend you searching for that like this. And then this is the full documentation. It's kind of like a hash, and then you can use that for getting the values for each one of them. Like for instance, data grouped. And then uh, once you want to get a specific one, then you can say data group dot get, for instance, Colombia. And then these are the, wow, 600 players that we have in there. So James Rodriguez the first. 
So let's say that after grouping by that, I maybe want to group by what could be a good one. Like for instance, the club that might give us too many. I think there is a body type in here and there is also a work rate. And I remember seeing maybe a position somewhere. Um, here is position or maybe let's see by body type. So, so basically what you can do is that not only you grouped here by nationality, but then you can pass another one, another attribute that groups by position. So if you do that, then basically what happens is that you get a group here that has Argentina and all the countries. And then inside that you have another group that has all the different positions. Okay. So uh, if I want to get out of this, when I get Colombia, I'm getting all the positions. And then if I want to get, uh, let's say, for instance, all the goalkeepers, Colombian goalkeepers, then I get all the 52 entrances and, and entries, I guess, instances is what I was looking for. And you have um, Daniel Ospina as one of the goalkeepers. This is interesting because Juan Guillermo Cuadrado, it's not a goalkeeper. Or maybe this is another Juan Guillermo Cuadrado. It's interesting, you can see here the, oh, the photo not ex, doesn't exist anymore. Anyhow, so, um, so yes, so basically what I did in there, again, is that I did the grouping, and then I group, group in by one attribute, and then by another, and that creates a nested one. So that's one thing. The other thing you can do is that um, if you don't want to use, if you don't want to be using the, uh, um, the, the map, but you rather have that as an array, then you can use the plural version of that. That's groups. And then that will return an array with two positions. The first one is the key and the other one is the attributes. And then you can use these for whatever purposes you want. Now, the final thing in here is actually doing rollups. So basically say that you want to count instead of returning all the attributes, you actually want to return um, how many are in there. So if you want to do that, then you can do just with rollup. And then in rollup, it's exactly the same thing. But the first attribute is a function that takes not each one of the datums, or if that is possible to say like that, but instead like the whole array that will be grouped in there. Like for instance, in here, what I'm saying is, like, let's start with this. So let's group first by nationality and then give me the length. And then it's returning like this, like how many players are for each one of the nationalities. So for instance, you can use this for building a bar chart out of this. And then if we take back the position, then the first one is saying in Argentina, there are 26, 26 positions. And then each one of those, this is how many players they have. Okay, so that way you can group them. And if you wanna see that using arrays, then you just add the S and then you get it like this. So that's how you do grouping and rollups on D3. And again, take a look at this for more information on how, how to use that.